Hi, I'm Jared, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Auckland, New Zealand. Today, I'm going to show you how to transfer files between your local computer and an Amazon workspace. Let's get started. There are a few ways you can transfer files between your local computer and an Amazon workspace. First, you can use Amazon S3 as a way to transfer files. To do so, upload a file that you want to transfer from your local machine to an Amazon S3 bucket. If you don't have access to an S3 bucket, then ask your administrator to grant you access. Then, download the files to your workspace from the S3 bucket. If you have internet access from your workspace, then you can use any file storage system that allows you to upload and download files from your web browser, such as Dropbox as an example. Check with your administrator to make sure that you have internet access and you're allowed to access such tooling. Now, let's look deeper at the file transfer feature, which is part of Amazon DCV workspaces. Do be aware that you can't use this feature if your workspace is PCOIP based. As mentioned, you can use this feature only for DCV workspaces and you must be an administrator to enable this via group policy settings. You must also be using a Windows, Linux or web-based client version 5.23 or later. If you're using Mac OS workspace clients, then you can either use Amazon S3 or another web file storage system as mentioned previously, as this feature is not available for Mac OS workspace clients. For the purposes of this demo, I've already installed the workspace GPO templates on my Active Directory domain. To configure file transfer, open the Windows Administrative Tools, then Group Policy Management. Navigate to where your workspace objects are inside your organizational unit, or OU. Right-click on your OU with your workspace computer objects inside of it, then choose Create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Give the new GPO a name. I'll call this GPO Workspaces Allow File Transfer. Now that we've created the new GPO, it's time to configure it. Right-click on the GPO and select Edit. Now, within Group Policy Management Editor, choose Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Amazon, and WSP. In here, I'm going to configure Session Storage Setting. In the Configure Session Storage dialog box, choose Enabled. Now, there are a few options for how you may want your users to transfer files to and from your workspaces. You can choose Upload and Download to allow two-way file transfer between your workspace and local machines, upload only, to allow file uploads from a local computer to your workspace's session, or you can choose download only. Download only is the setting that'll allow you to download files from your workspace to the local computer. In this case, I'm gonna select download and upload. If you want to, you can specify a folder for session storage, such as C drive. If you don't specify a folder, the default folder will be used. I'm going to leave it blank and use the default folder. After you finish this configuration, choose OK, and you can close the Group Policy Management Console. Then reboot your workspace from the workspace itself or from the AWS console. Now that my workspace has rebooted, I'm just going to log in again, and as you can see, I now have a new file transfer option up the top of my screen in my workspace's client. This will allow me to transfer files to and from my workspace to my machine locally. Let me just do a quick demo of that. So I'm going to click on Upload File. Here I have successfully uploaded a file to my workspace. I'll just close this window now, go into Windows Explorer. And here's my file here. Now you know how to transfer files between your workspace and your local computer. Thanks for watching. Happy cloud computing from all of us at AWS. <laughs>